to Stadium 10 on our journey to all 30 Major League Stadiums to see the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh yeah, we are here at beautiful Citizens Bank Park over the Philadelphia Phillies on a nice July evening Brewers Phils game two of the series. We only drove 20 minutes from home to get to it since we now live in the Philadelphia area. Yeah. And this jersey right here oh, is yeah. wearing the Giannis Brewers jersey because he's an owner. He is an owner of the Brewers. They, they always do promotional stuff with him so it's really cool to have this. So yeah, let's get in there. And we're going to catch the game but we're also going to give you a tour of the bank. I think we go to the outfield first. That's the best part of the stadium. We are right here in left field. You can see over there, Boo's Barbecue. Um, got the food right there, and then the wine and kugels left field. The legendary Harry Cow. Harry Cow is the voice of the Philadelphia. the left field entrance. Whole bunch of Phillies retired numbers. I see Richie Ashburn, I see who else? Michael Jack Schmidt. If you want to eat, this is the spot to eat. Tony Luke's chicken wings, another cheesesteak option. Campo's down there. And of course, Krabby Fries. The lines are longest, kid, for what may be as much of a quintessential Philadelphia restaurant as any of them. Chickies and peace. Cheesesteaks are normally a requirement here in Philadelphia, but for you, it's a little something different. I mean, it's Ryan Howard's restaurant. Like, you, you can't get much more Philly than that. Talking about great chicken tenders, great chicken sandwiches, 10 out of 10. Of course, all the fans are in the team store. Two floors of stuff inside there. Yeah, you don't see many two floor team stores um, since we're here. And out of the corner of my eye, I see a cool employee named Luke. Let's link his channel in the description. Go sub to it, Phillies Flyers Fan 25. Sub to it, he's cool. Yeah. Right there, Bulls Barbecue, it is named after. The ball. Greg Lazinski who comes to every Phillies home game, or at least a whole bunch of them. Just think you can actually meet a former player right there. Just like sometimes in Milwaukee with Norman Thomas. Who won a former champion who won a championship? Yep, 1980. Oh yeah. And that second deck gives us an opportunity to see another spot. Harry the Cage, this little restaurant here. Nice. And what a view that you get. Okay. And there are loads of flags and banners for the Phillies with a three color system to them. Yeah, um, so the red ones over there, um, you can see our. 1980 and 2008 when the Phillies won the World Series and then the blue ones right here are all of the times that they made the World Series and what are the white ones? Division championships, other playoff appearances. Kid, we have found him! Philly sports guy. What's up everybody? <laughs> Look at these jerseys. Do you see these jerseys? What are they wearing? Here they're in Delco and they're wearing this. I tell you what, just because they like bad baseball teams don't make them bad people. Exactly. We always say, good people and bad laundry for a few hours is all it is. And we're Phil's fans, 156 games a year. Okay, I can appreciate that because especially your team right now isn't doing so hot. But that's okay. Every, hey, what's it? Every like four or five years you guys uh, you guys come on strong. Yeah. yeah. I remember when CC Samathia was uh, on your team. I think we took him yard a few times. That was the one time all year. <laughs> but I know that we won that game. You had us winning. You had us Yes, we did. Awesome. It's great meeting you, though. Great to And it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you guys. I love the fact that you're Delco and that you're our Phillies most of the time. But you gotta stay true to where you come from. So and that's that's what's really it's all about. 
because it doesn't matter. We're all one big family being fans. That's what I'm talking about. So let's go, Phillies, and I hope your team loses. Yeah! <laughs> We are right in the corner of where an entire Phillies fan group was born. Right here, 2020 is where the pandemic crew started. They're now over there in section 301. But they started during the COVID season watching games from right here. The TVs were on, Phillies put them on for them. They had drums, they had ladders, being loud and proud. Yankees manager Aaron Boone wanted them to shut up and talk to the umpire about it. But we're in Philly. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop it, okay? We're sitting in section 302, one section away from a very, very famous section of Phillies fans. Section 301 pandemic group. Um, there's nothing, nothing here. Bottom first as we play YMCA. And wonderfully, our crew, crew is resplendent in the navy blue tonight. Over his life, Kyle Schwarber has been a Brewer killer. Yep. Many of those games with the Chicago Cubs. And, Just like. and, and thankfully, he only has semi-deep center field power for the first out of the game. Thank God. Of course, Schwarber was just as well known, even more perhaps, for his rightful tirade on a Josh Hader ball that was called a strike, called by, of course, Angel Hernandez. We were at that game. That was a little while. Go, crazy, crazy. Go, go check it out. We've got the link right up there. And speaking of Philadelphians who are giving us a fun but not too bad hard time <laughs> and a YouTube legend, the Philly captain. Worst dressed people in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what colors are these? Baby blue and yellow? Oh yeah. Hey, baby blue is as good as it gets when it comes to jerseys. You I know, know that as well. Well, the Phillies have a nice baby. That's, that combination with yellow and blue is <laughs> terrific. I'm colorblind and I can tell you that's horrible. The Philly captain is a legend on this channel. Go <laughs> check him out. Yes, please YouTube. check me out subscribe to Cherokee story <laughs> huh? what do you guys what do you guys YouTube about oh. we are sports food and travel sports food and travel we're actually going to all 30 major league stadiums to see the Brewers we're 16 down 14 to go that sounds like a horrible time congratulations <laughs> <laughs> they let us in section 301 that's it and in the second inning, the Boo Birds are out, which is good news for us because... Brewers are up 2 nothing on a Blake Perkins RBI double. So that'll score Uno and those for the crew. The MVP being an MVP. Adding some runs to the Brewers totals here. Christian Yelich with the RBI double brings Blake Perkins in. Okay, are we gathering at Pats or at Gina? Uh, those two stay at. Definitely go to Campos or maybe yeah, maybe Larry's. Larry's and Berries are actually pretty good. You can think on that. Go check out the up there. Uh, but it's all about Dal Sandra to the end. Wait, why are we going for cheesesteaks? We should be going for Crabby Fries. I'm gonna call it Tyrone Taylor's doing something like this at that. So he's gonna do something really good. You calling it? I'm calling it. He's he, doing something he, really he good is, on this at that. He has zero homers. Yes. No, nope. worse. Two. Double play. <laughs> Never say anything like that again. It's all my fault, isn't it? I jinxed him. It was you who taught me cap versus no cap. Actually, I would disagree. Hail Mary. We know that in Green Bay. I think you changed your mind on that because the best way to win a game. No hitters. And we certainly know that because we've seen him. Now up in Philadelphia is Brandon Marshall, as known as We are very happy that Nick Castellanos' ding dong is a lead off one for the inning. Yeah, you see the bell ringing. You know. At least the crew still has the lead. But wow. Wow. It was a bad omen that we went with Gatlin Chicken Centers while I'm waiting for pizza because two Brewers defensive mistakes have just tied this game. But it's worth getting these tenders. How are they? They're really good. I 
Manco and Manco South Jersey's favorite pizza. Let's see how it is. It's renowned. Some people we know who have given it negative rankings. We'll see how this goes. I've had better pizzas. This is not bad. Especially for stadium food where it can be very questionable as to whether it matches the quality of the restaurant. This is pretty good. And the vantage point we've got standing here. Yeah. Maybe we can't see the center fielder. You want to watch the pitching action? It's perfect right here. On the rooftop. Our brew crew just took the lead, baby. William Contreras with the double scoring of runners. Four, three, three. Let's go. And the rest of the 30 some thousand. I don't care if I ever get back for it's brew. Brew, brew for the brewers. Sing, brew, brew, Bring out a song of the cheer. Now it's time to roll out. The game's all here. No rumors. Way on top of the Phillies dugout. There's the Philly fanatic. Entertaining fans. The product of the Galapagos Islands. We got a Brewers winner. Let's go. Five three after a controversial call. For the second out of second Every Brewers Phillies game. Back in the palatial Sorgi estate. Oh, what a win after a crazy ninth inning. Stacking up those W's, trying to win that three seed. But this ninth inning was ridiculous. It was D will always? I told him off camera, I said, I said, we need, I said, I need heart medication. Mm -hmm. Every time that there could be a D-Will save, because he just, he gives me like 20 heart attacks every game. There was a, probably a missed call that was confirmed by New York about a Phillies runner out at second on a steal attempt, even though it looked like he got in. Brewers will take it, but it was kind of controversial. The second time we have seen a controversial Brewers win, in Philly. Can I just say this? Someone, 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 please start a petition to make me the commissioner of Major League Baseball because we will fix New York. <laughs> we will fix, we'll fix all the problems. We're going to get rid of pitch clock. We're going to do every, we're going to undo everything Rob Manfred did and we're going to fix New York. If you can do these things, maybe it will help. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Go to linktree.com slash origin stories for all of our social media. And a new book. Oh, yeah. Order Greater Than Games Volume 1 MKE 2028. Wherever you order your books. For little buddy, I'm the author of that book, Daddy. So long from the Sorgi Story Studios in Philadelphia. Go Brewers! Let's go!